Hello. Professor Rod Keenan is one of Australia's leading climate change experts. He's director of the Victorian Centre for Climate Change Adaptation Research at the University of Melbourne. He's here in Salt Lake City at the 24th UFRO World Congress, where he's responsible for two sessions dealing with climate change. He's with us today, and we'll talk a bit about this Congress, his sessions, and the UFRO, the International Union of Forest Research Organizations. Dr. Keenan, welcome. Nice to be here, Bob. Good. Well, I've, I've sort of hit a few high spots. Uh, could mm -hmm. you elaborate a bit on who you are and what you do? Uh, yes. Well, I was originally trained in forestry in Australia and, uh, and then went on to do a PhD in forest ecology at the University of British Columbia. So I guess my background is in uh, the biophysical aspects of forest science and, and forest management. Um, but more recently, I've been uh, heavily involved with policy issues in relation to um, uh, climate change policy uh, aspects of uh, forest sustainability reporting and sustainable forest management in a number of different countries. I see. You've also been involved with UFO for a number of years. Mm -hmm. How does that fit into your day job? Yeah, well, this is actually my sixth <coughs> Youth Row World Congress. Um, I'm starting to feel a bit old, but uh, <laughs> maybe I've become one of the old boys that I thought uh, that Youth Row was all about when uh, I first attended a congress in 1990 uh, in Montreal. Um, so I guess UFRO for me is really uh, the network of people across the world that uh, provides that framework for me to interact with and, and uh, work in a number of different areas. So I've been involved with a range of different UFRO working groups uh, in the forest management area. Uh, and these days I'm the uh, convener of a working party on um, climate change, adaptation and forest management. For UFRO? Yeah. Yes. Now, you say you've been at six of these World mm. Congresses, so what do you feel are the major achievements, accomplishments out of them? Mm. Well, I think these Congresses every five years provide the opportunity for uh, the larger forest research community to get together. People working around forests and land management research are, are an incredibly diverse group from uh, genetics and tree physiology through to forest products and processing uh, and the social aspects of forestry and, and policy and, and economic related issues. So uh, it's really an opportunity to get a, an idea of the extent of the, the research that's going on to explore some of those bigger issues and cross-cutting issues uh, um, that run across those different research areas. And also to take um, an understanding of what goes on in forest research out into the broader community, both the, the yes. practitioner community and uh, and also in uh, the policy community. True, true. Now you're organizing two sessions at this particular Congress. They're both dealing with climate change. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on what you're going to be doing there? Yeah, well, our sessions are focused on how you adapt to climate change. Much of the, the policy discussion with climate change and forests is around mitigation. Uh, so that's how you reduce greenhouse gas emissions in order to avoid the, the, the potential consequences of climate change. Uh, adaptation is accepting that some level of uh, warming and other effects of, of a changing climate are going to go on as a result of increasing atmospheric CO2 and that uh, there's going to be various effects on the forests and on the communities that depend on those forests. So uh, we need to be uh, undertaking different types of forest management practices than we've been doing in the past to uh, to cope with those different future environments. I see. What do you say to the, the climate change skeptics and the deniers? Well, I say... That's, uh, print, that's, that's yeah. repeatable. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, well, I think everyone's entitled to their point of view, but uh, I think it's also just prudent uh, uh, management practice to actually take into account uh, the potential for change in future conditions. So I really put the, the view that it's a, a risk management uh, activity to, uh, to be at least considering that, um, that, that sensible risk management activity to be considering that uh, conditions are going to change into the future um, and that uh, you need to be planning for that. So it's really making smarter decisions, uh, taking into account uh, the changing future, potential changing future conditions. How, how serious a threat is climate change to the world's forests? Well, 
we're already seeing impacts of, um, of the climate change we've experienced so far on uh, uh, things like uh, increasing drought death, increasing uh, fires, in, particularly here in the US and Australia where I'm from. Uh, we've had major wildfires over the last uh, 10 years and there's some indication that you know, the high temperatures, uh, the, the season is becoming longer than it has in the past so that um, there's an indication of uh, implications for, for forest air. Um, the, um, so that's causing uh, uh, mortality, uh, I think, uh, and also uh, changes in forest composition and structure. And they're the kinds of things that are going to occur, occur more rapidly into the future. I think some forest types are probably going to do okay. In fact, uh, there's some evidence that growth is going to increase in the short term with uh, higher temperatures or increasing CO2. Uh, but there are particular forest types that are going to be at risk. Um, mountain forests that um, are dependent on certain temperature regimes right. okay. uh, and uh, expanding um, yeah, where they don't have the opportunity to move to different areas. And what about forest research? Has it contributed greatly to general uh, climate change research? Yeah, well, certainly a lot of the uh, early studies, if you go back, uh, you know, climate change first started being raised as an issue in terms of the implications for forests uh, in the 70s. And, uh, and a lot of the groundbreaking work then uh, was done then in relation to our understanding of how ecosystems in general might be impacted uh, by a changing climate. Um, you know, other areas where that have made a real contribution are things like dendrochronology and tree ring uh, analysis that has been able to give us that long-term understanding of changing climatic conditions and, and how it impacts on things like water resources. Uh, so there's a whole range of different areas where um, forest science has both uh, informed our understanding of um, a, the changing climate uh, but has also given us an understanding of how forests are going to respond to that changing climate. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, Dr. Yeah, very nice to, to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you.